Welcome to the lecture, the city of Timmins in Ontario. So this is the city of Timmins. Uh, we can see here the location in central Ontario. And where we continue with our journey through the different communities, we can see that the city of Timmins is located in the northeastern Ontario uh, on the Matagami River. The city is the fourth largest city in northeastern Ontario with a population of 41,788 people and an elevation of 295 meters based on the information from Wikipedia. And here we are at the information for the folio for the city of Timmins. So this is called the city of Tamfolio. And what we can see here is the population is 41,788. The median household for the city is 73,541. Only 775 total vis uh, visible minority. And the average age for the population in the city is around 41.4 years of age. And you can see the trend that have been decreasing. The last number we have got is from the survey done. Statistic Canada did a survey in 2016. So Basically, it's a city that needs immigrants and the ages can give us a little more information. Between the age of 50 and 54, it has the major age cohort, followed by age 60, 55, 59, and 60, 64. So the big proportion of the population is elderly. And if you can count on this, you're going to need a replacement population for this amount of people that are retiring soon. So that's why Canada and especially small cities and towns like Timmins need a flow of talented immigrants that want to make Timmins the place to live and can contribute to the economy. The majority of the population here is very stable, female over male when it comes to proportions in different ages. So you can see that uh, overall women outnumber men by 470 people. And we can see the information age age ranges right here. When it comes to uh, marital status, we can see that the majority of people here are married uh, with a smaller proportion of common law and uh, followed by single. Okay. And when it comes to the household income, the majority of the families in this town earn around $150,000 per year as a household. Then, continue by other numbers here, we tell you that the majority of the people are in the middle class category. Okay, so information about Aboriginal identification in Timmins you have the First Nations the and the Metis are the biggest group of Aboriginal identity in Timmins. The visible minority, we can see that the majority the majority of people that live in Timmins that are minority are gonna be between blacks and South Asian followed by Filipino and Chinese. And after that you can see growing proportion of Latin Americans and then followed by Southeast Asian, West Asians, and Arab. So this is the composition of the main groups that are living in Timmins right now with the amount of people, 185 black, and then you have around the 160 of South Asian. They are the amount of people, okay? And when it comes to languages, we can see that English and French, a good proportion. English is a bigger proportion. Or population and other languages based on the origin of the other uh, minority. The median age in Timmins is basically 41.4 and it has been basically getting higher and higher which means the population being getting older and older and that's why the importance of immigrants to come to the city, young immigrants. And this is the data, the household income have been increasing every time you can see the numbers which is a good uh, good information 
but you need to keep the economy going and active so that trend continue. And the biggest period of immigrants that they have was in before 1981. Then it decreased during the 80s. The 90s have a little push, slow down a little bit between 2001 and 2005. Then it was to come up a little bit, but then in the last uh, five years, until 2016, it was an increasing immigration. We, we proved the trend that Timmins is looking forward for more immigrants. When it comes to the household by side, the majority are of two, followed by a household of three people, household of one, a big portion are a household of one person, and then followed by other denomination, four and five. So you basically have a lot of people that are either single or couples, and a small families, that basically composition of the household in Timmins. You can also check and find information if you go to the regular social media, for example, go to the Facebook page, you can find information here about Timmins, you can check the photos, videos, events, and posts, and as we said with other communities, you can contact people, make some questions, and start trying to establish some connection with the community before you come to to Canada or even organize a trip when it's available just to explore the city before you start your, your plan so you have an idea how the community is and if you like that you can follow other pages about Timians that can give you an, a better idea about the news about the daily activities and uh, social activities that way you can learn more about uh, the city overall and what activities you can find interesting and how can you network from outside of Canada. Also, they have phone pages in YouTube. You can go and check videos and as well as pages at Twitter. And here we are in the page of LinkedIn of Timmins. You can follow the page here and you can see the people that are present in link in LinkedIn that are living in the city. You can make, try to make connections, as we said before, try to be a very nice connection using the tool, following the rules. You don't want to spam people. You want to introduce yourself, who you are. If they are in the same uh, industry that you are in back home, then that's a good way to introduce yourself. Like if you see somebody that is an engineer. In this case, we're going to pick Christopher, engineer, in training. Then you can go, oh, hello, Christopher, my name is Sandy. I'm an engineer. I live in this country. I'm exploring the opportunity, probably, possibility to move to Timmins. Can you give me some advice, some tips? That's the way you connect, asking questions. People, and most of the people are very happy to help you out with that and establish a connection. But you need to do it in the right way, following the rules of the platform, like LinkedIn. Uh, no spamming and no asking give me a job or something like that please just try to make connections ask some questions people will be happy to help you out okay so i hope you find this lecture useful and we'll see you in the next one thank you very much